There were some people who said they were at a particular meeting when others said they were not. Agenda was to destroy Narendra Modi politically. The agenda was explicitly political. I don't think they were, they were concerned about Muslim victims. And these included a section of the media. These included journalists. These included NGOs. I think ultimately at the end of the day, the SIT findings didn't implicate Mr. Modi. The SIT gave a clean chit to Narendra Modi. We have to have faith on our institution and we have to put a full stop on something and we have to move forward. The verdict cleared the way for Mr. Modi to run for prime minister. The travel bans were lifted. Diplomatic relations with the West were restored. I don't think that I had any doubt that Mr. Modi is going to be the next prime minister. Narendra Modi, India's next Prime Minister, riding into Delhi in triumph. After he won an election landslide with his promise that good days are coming for India. Badi khabar aari is waqt Gujarat ke purv IPS officer Sanjeev Khatt ko Jamnagar ki adalat ne umr qaid ki saza sunayi hai. Sanjeev Bhatt was jailed for life in 2019 over a death in custody case dating back 30 years his family insists he is innocent and many say his trial was unfair the government will try to do whatever they can to ensure that my father's voice is not heard he is the sole surviving witness who can tie narendra modi to the carnage of 2002 No one has ever been convicted for the Daud family murders. Still feeling very angry, very frustrated. It feels like there's no justice there. Ehsan Jafri's widow challenged the findings of the SIT in court. In June 2022, India's Supreme Court upheld the findings. saying there was no larger conspiracy it ruled the testimonies of sanjeev bhat and rb sri kumar were replete with falsehood and said those involved in abuse of process need to be in the dock shortly after mr modi's closest political ally spoke out about the case aaj court ne spasht kar diya ki sarkar ne danga rokne ke liye bharsak prayas ki hai ye lambi ladai मोदी जी ने बहुत धैर्यपूर्वक सारी वेदनाओं को वो विष को हजम करते हुए लड़े और आज चमकते सूर्य की तरह सत्य बार आए हैं मोदी जी जीत कर बार आए हैं द पुलिस अरेस्टेड मिस्टर श्री कुमार एंड अ हाई प्रोफाइल ह्यूमन राइट्स वर्कर हु हेल्प मिसेस जाफरी ब्रिंग द केस Sanjeev Bhatt already in prison was named in the police complaint too All three are accused of fabricating evidence 20 years on the Gujarat violence remains controversial None of the people arrested were sources for our report and the findings of our investigation still stand 2000 people were murdered in Gujarat in 2002 in a campaign of violence that was clearly well organized that remains a fact now mr modi is in power it seems to me that history is being rewritten the supreme court gave a judgment which actually brought the whole matter to a closure the closure was necessary 